Another list that keeps growing, and because it's getting closer to that time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is Novelty Axe. Uh, that's because it's, it's about to get weird. I mean, <laughs> we're, we're wrapping up uh, some of these championships. Uh, I was about to list them all, but um, wrapping up championships, getting into a little bit of the thicket. Um, so Olympics is definitely something that's on the rise right now. Uh, going through some of the trials uh, taking place in Lucas Oil Stadium. Um, we have some news that got dropped for uh, LA 2028, but well, we'll get to that here in a bit. Uh, so what do you got for us? Uh, coming from Indianapolis, uh, the home of live entertainment all of a sudden. Right. Uh, starting off with the swimming Olympic trials. Uh, first things first, we spoke about her a little bit in the WNBA. They actually were able to go out and watch some of the trials. And I feel like all of us are Caitlin Clark in this situation. So let's roll the tape. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good. I didn't overproduce there and click the button I had to stage. Yeah. Touch that water. Yeah, I mean, we, who doesn't like? I immediately when you get to a pool, you're like, uh, okay, okay, okay. Can, can I touch the water? I'm gonna touch the butt. All right. <laughs> you want to see dead body? Right. Find a Nemo. Um, but Katie Ledecky, man, <sighs> she's so good. So, so good. good. Qualified in the 200, 400, 800, and 1500 uh, meter freestyle, and she can become the first woman in any sport to win the same individual Olympic event four times with the 800 meter freestyle. But let's look at the end of her 1500 uh, meter freestyle because she was 20 seconds faster than everybody else. Yeah. I want to have like a, like a sandwich, cup of coffee. Yeah. Uh, hey, you want to crack a cold one? You want to crack a cold one? Hey, Boston Harbor. Right. <laughs> yeah, let me just lean back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm good. You might get to score the Mets game. Yeah. Oh, there she is. <laughs> like, I thought she was going to start like blowing raspberries. Like, she was that bored. All right, is anybody else here? That was that us? Oh, hey, okay, there's three. Oh, there they all are. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Welcome to the party. <laughs> no. right, you guys were late. Did you bring chips? Right. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right, is that, uh, is that pretty much it? That that's pretty I mean, much it. I mean, okay, that's okay. Pretty much, uh, uh, like, I think you just kept going. I mean, it was I, like, mean I, was, I don't know. I was so okay. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Dude, yeah, that's, that's so wild, though. I mean, to yeah. be that dominant. And to, I mean, it's like uh, Phelps, it's, um, I mean, that's you know, the swimming equivalent, you know, right, like of, but there's other play, you know, there's other athletes mm -hmm. in the Olympics that just, whenever they show up, it's like, okay, well, this is yours for the next 10, 15 years until you quit. Right. So it looks like that's, uh, that's what it is for Katie. Uh, I'm excited for it. Um, I mean, there's be a lot of editing to do in these races <laughs> or a lot of uh, filler talk from the announcers, but, um, but yeah, yeah. Josh, what are your thoughts on, on a uh, Katie Ledeck? She's like freaking secretariat in the, in the Belmont. If you don't know, go look it up. Yeah. We're literally like sitting there. But people are like, Oh no. And then it's a tight race. And we're like, for what? For second. <laughs> yeah. So it's one by 24 links, dude. <laughs> um, literally kind of passing thing. other people. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm so it was it was nuts, and then yeah, went. I don't know why if anybody heard, heard me like the other Olympic race, and I was like Ryan Lochte. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he will ever be a he won an Olympic gold medal? Okay, <laughs> yeah. uh, but that was that was a summer of of Lochte. Uh, but yeah, uh, it was. I, I'm not gonna not gonna uh, kill the lead. So so what do you? <laughs> I love it. No, no, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. No, We're here. No, We're here. no, no, no. <laughs> you, already stepped, you already stepped in it. Kenny <laughs> Ledecky is so dominant. I think she has like nine, 19 or 20, like it's the fastest times are all her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like she's just beating her own records. Right. I mean, really going forward. Yeah. And and then after the, uh, she won by 20 seconds and like in the post, like me uh, interview, she was just like, I, I wanted to go faster. Like she was upset at herself for not going faster. Yep. 
So that's just who Katie Ledecky is. We're just going to watch this beast perform mm -hmm. at the Olympics, and I can't wait. But speaking of other world record uh, breakers, Gretchen Walsh breaks the world record time in the 100-meter butterfly in the semis and ultimately qualifies. She also qualified in the 50-meter freestyle behind Simone Manuel and the 4x100 freestyle. The cool side note is that her sister Alex also qualified for Paris in the 200 meter IM. So, like, congrats to them and their parents. Like, you get to watch yep. both your daughters at the Paris Olympics. Yeah, yeah, another uh, Venus Serena kind of situation where mm -hmm. you know you've you've got siblings that are just absolutely crushing it. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, look forward to seeing the documentary about them in 25 years. Um, right. but uh but yeah no it's definitely be exciting to watch is will smith playing time. uh their parent <laughs> <laughs> probably probably at that point too who's gonna who's gonna play the overly ri ridiculous uh racist white dude that's just like get out of the pool like for no fucking reason <laughs> like there's gotta be that one in the movie too dark for the pool get out yeah like, you work yeah, a, shout out to bill burr he kind of did yeah. that joke about the terrence howard film it's like really <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like it so what, you, what are your thoughts on this though I think it's just really cool. You, you, when you're thinking about like swimming, you, I usually think about freestyle. I'm not like, oh, let me go watch the butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> but someone to like break a record and break it in the semis, not even like she still had to qualify for the Olympics after breaking a world record. Like there could have been a possibility that she performed bad at the finals and didn't go to the Olympics and she's the world record holder. Yeah. So it's like, can we just, just use that last time? Can we use right. the other one? Yeah. I, I like uh, how, how to me, like butter, the butterfly race or the swimming is basically like a, like a gateway drug to synchronized swimming. <laughs> <laughs> just how it feels. I don't know why, because it's just so much more majestic looking or something. Yeah. I don't know. Butterfly is a bitch. Yeah. It is a bitch. A, uh, yeah. Because I, I, I used to swim back in the day, and no, so I did like four strokes of butterfly. I was like, you got, you, you kids got that, got that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. That stroke is I'm the out. way to go, man. That was uh, my, yeah. that was the way I, the stroke I did. Free and uh, the breast stroke. Those were my two things. That was. Yeah. Doggy paddle, baby. All day. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> But speaking of Simone Manuel, who uh, Gretchen Walsh qualified behind her, uh, she qualifies for her third Olympics after battling back from overtraining syndrome, which affected her both before and during the Tokyo Olympics. We're not really going to watch a video of her swimming, although it's there at the bottom. Um, we're going to watch a video of her talking about her mental health, how she was at to Tokyo, and how important the fans were at Lucas Oil Stadium, yeah. like people being excited to watch her swim again. After Tokyo, I felt even more alone. I didn't feel as though um, I got the support that I would have hoped for or the grace in talking about my journey that I had hoped for. But being in this arena and being surrounded by these fans honestly has been so healing. Um, I remember the 200 free I think maybe it's the 200 free semifinals getting out and hearing the crowd cheer even louder. And just to know that these people are just excited to see me swim again, swim at this level again, is something that's really special. And I don't take it for granted. And it's something that I think um, I'm appreciating even more that I'm not as lonely as I thought I was and that there's people who really care and are excited to see me swim and be an inspiration and, um, for the longest, it's not something I've been able to necessarily understand or uh, recognize, but I think that being here and, and hearing how the crowd has been cheering for me has been really special. Yeah. Tishka, throw into you uh, those words. Yeah. Um, well, it's it's kind of ironic. I mean, a little bit before, um, I was going to kind of mention, you know, some of the therapy stuff as far as um, – kind of put, putting stress on you too much, right? Or just chasing mm -hmm. greatness, right? So with like, you know, Katie Ledecky, chasing greatness, chasing these records. I mean, all of them. Mm -hmm. um, but that puts so much of a strain on you. Um, and for them to be able to, you know, for her to do that to her body, as well as just mental health, um, but being aware of it. Um, yeah, and it is, and it is a, a precarious situation in those because you want people to reach out, but you're not in a space to where you necessarily are, are the one asking, reaching out to them. 
it's not mm -hmm. like people don't want to help. They just don't know because mm -hmm. it's an unseen kind of thing. Um, so for people out there, if you see people just kind of withdrawing, pull them in, pull them in, give, give, them, a, give them a holler, man. Anytime you feel a little nudge to reach out to somebody, just do it. Just say hi. Um, you know, it really doesn't take that much to um, make a connection with someone and uh, just kind of keep them tethered and grounded, uh, you know, to the community, to, you know, in whatever, whatever group you're kind of working with. Um, for her to speak about it openly is awesome. Um, I hate that she had to go through that, but uh, looking forward to her just absolutely kicking ass uh, mm -hmm. next time she's out there. Yep. And Josh. Soul. Mm -hmm. Your team did it. No. Oh, Florida update. Panthers are the NHL. I'm sorry. It just happened. Champions. Hey, that's right. Oh, breaking, this is news. breaking news. Breaking news. Jeremy Miller, Stanley Cup just had a wild fit. See, I love you guys so much that I'm here and not watching that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, but yeah. I had to get the instant reaction from the Florida Panthers fan yes. that is with us. At least one at least one of our teams can win a, a big big championship, <laughs> right? Right, right, Jessica? You don't you don't have a team that did yeah. that. Oh, I'm the only one. Fuck! <laughs> Sooner softball. <Ooh>. Chiefs. <laughs> Sorry. All right, listen, Dallas, we, we need to have a talk. <laughs> to it. Yeah, you guys do need to have a little talk. <laughs> a, little, a little talk to it. <laughs> you need to talk I'm to not, it. I'm not going to laugh at that. I'm not going to laugh at that. We will be talking about the Panthers later uh, but yeah, in uh, the Lamp. But uh, yes. Kind of going back, I just had to get the live reaction. Because I literally yeah. just, that's a big, uh, I mean, that's, that's the first Stanley Cup in Florida Panther history. So yes. congratulations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, on that. We'll, but anyway, we'll that's not get, what we're we'll we're not lighting the lamp right now. We're 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 <laughs> we tested it out. It works, but we'll get to there a little bit later. <laughs> but uh, yeah, with 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 her and also like Simone Biles' uh, last Olympics. Like I know she was. Go we don't know really. Nothing's ever been disclosed about it. And I think they're not disclosing anything for a reason. But she was just she was just out of it last mm -hmm. Olympics, and where they had to basically pull it from events because I remember seeing her warming up and she couldn't keep her balance. It was just. You know, mm -hmm. and especially for any type of sport, you have to be mentally locked in. Like you saw the replays of her, or well, finishing up swimming as as she's over overlaying her talking, and you can just tell every time she finished her race, even though she was you know either top or either top four, she just kind of turned and she was kind of emotionless. She just kind of was like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, and then just went about her business, which you would want to see. If, you're 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 training. You're, you're doing something that hardly anybody gets to do mm -hmm. in your sport. You're the top of the top of the top in in your sport, much less in your country, who is perceived as being really good at pretty much everything. Perceived. I'm not saying they are. Just perceived. Uh, but, and to see her just basically just kind of just be like, oh, okay. And then just go about her business. It's like, I understand that's just a mental gymnastics. It's because she, like you said, it's, it's the chase of greatness. Mm -hmm. Is Nothing's ever good enough, unfortunately. Sometimes when they have it in their head, nothing's ever good enough. Mm -hmm. And you can just kind of see kind of how the mental gymnastics she goes through and then you see as she's talking she's, and a then swimmer, her she's not a gymnast no simone bowles <laughs> was a gymnast oh oh never mind <laughs> okay I, my bad yeah, i was just bad referring joke, i was referring i was referring back to the fact that <laughs> simone bowles went through some mental <laughs> mental hurdles and they kept trying to and a lot of people were giving simone bowles a lot of shit at the last mm. olympics because they're like oh bull crap you blah, blah 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 i'm like no, dude. That's what I mean, Manuel. Yeah. And people were giving Simone Manuel because if you remember in Rio, she won gold and then she goes to she doesn't even qualify in the event that she won gold in for Tokyo mm -hmm. because uh, and she spoke about how she was all ready for Tokyo. She's the best in the world in her event and then uh, COVID hits and then kind of you're not training for that much and then you go back to training and you're overexerting your body and you're not doing well and it was one of those just like the gold medalist is not going to be able to defend her no. gold medal in Tokyo but she did go for the um the relay yeah. for Tokyo yeah but hello Brennan Marr hello. Says, hello there hello, hello. I gotta tell you my house shuts down at Olympic time because my mom is completely obsessed uh yeah bud um it's it's probably gonna be that way too um yeah i know there's there's a lot of people especially since it's being um 
I don't, I don't know. It just it seems like people are getting better at building up sports. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, getting just creating that excitement. Um, uh, you know, maybe it's just we've been cooped up for you know off and on for a while. So now it's like, hey, let's let's everybody let's get out of the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's go live our life a little bit. Um really but, part uh, of the crew. Yeah. But uh, but before we uh, jump over to track and field, anything else uh, from the swimming Olympics trial? So. Uh, real quick, Katie Grimes became the first American to qualify for open water and an indoor pool event in the same Olympics. She's going to be in the 10-kilometer open water, 400-meter IM, and 1500 meter freestyle behind Katie Ledecky. She's that second person that joined Katie Ledecky after the 20 seconds. Um and then yep. Bobby Fink is the only swimmer to uh, swim a sub 15 in the 1500 meter qualifier on the men's side. And we got a picture to show the exact moment he finished doing his best Katie Ledecky impersonation. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Where's everyone else? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I'm done. I-, I guess I get to chill a little bit too. <laughs> yeah, man. Right. Yeah. Put in a pizza, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe watch a, you know, like a quick show, an episode of uh, Hot D. <laughs> hot, hot D parts, parts. Hot D. Hot D. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, yeah, no, def- definitely just, I mean, it's just not fair sometimes. With these people. It's like, and that's where it's like, like you, you want your viewership to get excited, but then it's like, they're just gonna fucking kill everybody. Like, why are we gonna watch it? Like, they're just, yeah, they're gonna watch like that first, you know, ninety second or whatever it is for their time stamp, mm-hmm. and then they'll be like, all right, well, next. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, that's exciting for them. Uh, so good job, Bobby Fink, uh, Katie Grimes. Got a little bit of work to go, uh, work to do. Uh, mm-hmm. You, uh, <laughs> I mean, second place is nice, but come on now, you're, <laughs> you're not at that Katie Huladegi level. Second place um, is first to lose. Yep. But good job, yeah, Katie. Yep. 